to today's edition of editorial also broadcast from Canada. My name is Sandra Asante. Today we are drawing concerns on two main themes fused together. Firstly, U.S. Secretary of State alarmed by the news of Ethiopia's TPOF takeover of two towns and also Tigray and, and Oromo forces say they have seized towns of Ethiopia highway. So don't worry, we'll be back after the break. You're welcome back from the break. We we'll start off with the Secretary of State's alarming uh, statement. United States Secretary of State Antony Blinken said on Monday he was alarmed by a report of Tigrayan forces had taken over two key Ethiopian towns of Dese and Kombucha. Continuing fighting prolongs the dire humanitarian crisis in the northern Ethiopia. All parties must stop military operations and begin ceasefire negotiations without preconditions, he said. The Tigray People's Liberation Front, TPLF, said on Sunday that it forces were in control of Kombucha and its airport. The capture of Kombucha would be a strategic gain for the forces against Ethiopia's military and their allies who are trying to dislodge the Tigrayans from the Amhara region. The large town on a major highway approximately 380 kilometers, that is 235 miles from the capital Addis Ababa and its furthest south in Amhara that the TPLF has reached since pushing into the region in July. A day earlier, it said it has also seized Dese in Ethiopia's Amhara region where tens of thousands of ethnic Amharas have sought refuge from an escalation in fighting. The government denied this. War broke out early a year ago between the federal troops and the TPLF, which uh, dominated Ethiopian politics for nearly 30 years before Prime Minister Abiy Ahmed was appointed in 2018. The conflict has also killed thousands of civilians and forced more than 2 million people to flee their homes. Now we look at the seas uh, of the towns. Two different groups fighting Ethiopia's central government said they have seized two uh, of the towns on Sunday as Prime Minister appealed for citizens to take up arms. The spreading conflict threatens to further destabilize Africa's second most populous nation, once considered a stable Western ally in the volatile uh, region. Prime Minister Abiy Ahmed urged citizens to join the fight against the Tigray People's Liberation Front, TPLF, the party in control of the northern region of Tigray. After Tigrayan forces said they took another two on a highway linking to the capital of the landlocked nation to the port of Djibouti. Our people should march with any weapon and resources they have to defend, repulse and bury the TPLF, Abby said in a Facebook post on Sunday night. So that's quite upset. But now let's look at the claims of the games. So TPLF spokesperson Gatacho Reda said, Tigrayan forces have seized the town of Kombucha and its airport in the Amhara region. He spoke to routers by phone from an unknown location. On Sunday night, Insurgents from the Oromia, Ethiopia's most populous region, said they had also seized the town of Kamise, 53 kilometers, that is 33 miles south of Kombucha, on the same highway to the capital, Addis Ababa. Oda Terbi, a spokesman for the Oromo Liberation Army, Ola, said the group had taken Kamise, that is 325 kilometers, Comparing in miles, it is 200 miles from Addis Ababa and we're engaging uh, government forces. The Ola is an outlawed splinter group of the Oromo Liberation Front, a formerly banned opposition group that returned from the exile after Abiy took office in 2018. The Oromo are Ethiopia's largest ethnic group. Many of the political leaders have been imprisoned under Abiy's government. In August, the Ola and the TPLF announced a military alliance heaping pressure on the central government. The central government spokesperson, Legesa Tulu, Ethiopian military spokesperson, Colonel Getnet Adari, and Amhara regional spokesperson, Gesacha Mulene, did not immediately 
respond on request for comment on the TPLF and the OLS claims. Routers could not independently verify Gata Child's claim as phone lines in Kombucha appear to be down on Sunday. Routers could not reach anyone in Kemese as well. But on Sunday, the Amara Regional Government said in a statement, all government institutions must suspend their regular activities and should direct their budget on all their resources to this survival campaign that is officials on every level should mobilize and lead to the front. They announced a curfew of 8 p.m. and urged citizens to provide private vehicles to support the campaign. Now, let's look at the year-long war. War broke early uh, a year ago between the federal troops and the TPOF, which dominated Ethiopian politics for nearly three decades before Prime Minister Abiy Ahmed was appointed in 2018. The conflict has killed thousands of civilians and forced more than 2 million people to flee their homes. Tigrayan forces were initially beaten back but recaptured most of Tigray in July. They then pushed into the neighboring Amhara and Afar regions. Regional forces from Amhara have fought alongside the military in Tigray. Two, regional of, uh, two regions of the Amhara and Tigray have a long-running boundary dispute over farmland in the western Tigray. They are currently under the control of the Amhara administration. In mid-October, the Tigrayan forces said the military had mounted an offensive to push them out of Amhara. The military has also accused the forces of starting a recent round of fighting, which it is absurd. But Tigrayan forces have said they will keep fighting until Amhara forces leave the heavily fortified area of western Tigray and until the government permits the free movement of aid into the rest of Tigray. The United Nations has previously accused the government of a de facto blockade of uh, Tigray, where the UN says around 400,000 people are living in farming-like condition. The government denies the blocking of the aid. This is where I end today's editorial. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Sandra Asante. You should have an amazing day.